to find the greatest common factor or otherwise known as the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple will involve first splitting the two or three numbers that you are interested in into their prime factors. This is called prime factorization and can be done with a variety of methods such as the ladder method or the tree method which I'm showing you on the screen right now. If you're not familiar with prime factorization using the tree method, I have a full detailed video which I'll link down below and a card will pop up, up at the top. Now that we've split each of our numbers into their prime factors, you'll just write all of the leaves of our trees multiplied together. The reason that we do this is because it makes it really easy to see which of the numbers are repeated in both 18 and 24. So here we can see that 2 is common to both and 3 is common to both. So using the fact that prime numbers are building blocks of every other number, we are going to create the greatest common factor by multiplying the two prime numbers that we've highlighted here that are common to both. Multiplying them together, we can see that the highest common factor or greatest common factor is six. Now to find the lowest common multiple, we're gonna start with our highest common factor and simply multiply the highest common factor with all the numbers that have not yet been used. Performing this, we can see that the lowest common multiple is 72. The method for finding the greatest common factor and lowest common multiple for three numbers is actually very, very similar. You perform the same steps, laying it out in a similar fashion. To find the highest common factor, you will then highlight all the numbers that are common to all three of my numbers. Seeing there, once again, the highest common factor or greatest common factor of these three numbers is six. Lowest common multiple follows a similar route. We're going to start with the highest common factor and we're going to multiply it by all the remaining numbers. But because there are three numbers, there is one extra step that we need to look out for. There is a common two and a common three. So we're only going to multiply my highest common factor by one of each of these numbers. And then the final remaining two. So we can see my lowest common multiple is once again 72. If we lay out our numbers slightly differently so that only the repeated numbers are in columns above each other, we can see that we'll just multiply one of each we will still see that we get the lowest common multiple of 72. And then this method just skips finding the highest common factor first because that is done within that calculation. Here are two for you to try. Pause the video now if you want to give it a go. Finding the prime factors of 12 and 15, we get the following. I'm going to rearrange them so it's easier to see the common factor. Doing this, we can see that three is the only common prime number. So my greatest common factor is three. Our next step is multiply all the remaining numbers with my highest common factor. So we get 60 as our answer. Prime factorization of our three numbers, we get the following. Rearranging them so that it's easier to see common numbers, it will look like this. Here's where we need to be a little bit careful we can see that two is common to all three of our numbers. There is a three that's common and a seven that's common to two of the numbers. But for the greatest common factor, we have to have the number common to all three numbers. So our greatest common factor for these three numbers is two. Looking at the lowest common multiple, we can include the numbers that are common to only two. So we're going to pair these up and then multiply each of my columns together. So two times two times three times three times seven, which will give us 252.